Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events with your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a Friday. That means the weekend's here, and this is the last day of the week for our show. And Amanda will be back from her honeymoon on Monday and the show will get back to normal again. We got a great show lined up today, a lot of fun stuff, interesting stuff that's gonna let you know about things happening this weekend and all during the week. That's what this show's all about. Now let's find out about the weather. Check with my man, Zach. He's always got it together. All right, good morning or good afternoon now at the noontime hour. Showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon as we progress throughout the remainder of the day. Our headlines continue with a dry slot later on this weekend. High pressure comes in and that's going to cool us off for our Saturday and our Sunday. But a new storm system arrives as we start up our Monday and our Tuesday with the potential for severe weather on our Tuesday according to the Storm Prediction Center. We'll talk about that in just a second. Right now, temperatures setting in those 70s, 71 to 74 there along the immediate coastline, 75 Carolina Forest, 75 out in Laura, 72 out in uh, Florence, 68 Hartsville, 70 out in Darlington, and 68 there out in Rockingham. So temperatures extremely warm. Typically for this time of the year, we're sitting at 74 daytime high. Many locations actually stayed around 71 to 72 for overnight lows. So actually above our average for a daytime high on November 2nd. There's our next bout uh, of rainfall. Moving through the I-20, I-95 corridor, Florence, Darlington County is about to get hit by some uh, light to moderate rain. Nothing that's really going to hinder travel. This is our next wave, if you will, as it moves through the region. As you head on out the door, maybe you're getting a, a little bit later start. Temperatures are going to be around 76 there around the 1 o'clock hour, and then temperatures begin to fall. But it isn't going to be a noticeable fall until after the midnight hour. You can see we're down to 71 at our 7 o'clock hour. Severe storms, while well, there is a possibility, a very slight, very marginal possibility, Friday afternoon and evening, this would be area-wide, with the main threats being some strong gusty winds, a very low, but it is not zero, a very low tornado threat and occasional lightning. Honestly, probably not going to see a tornado, but still, the chance is there although it is extremely low. High resolution future cast this just coming in just about uh, 10 minutes ago, showing clouds still across the region. This is that cold front, but notice this line not as strong as what it was anticipated earlier this morning on Good Morning Carolina, still swinging through around the same time, four, five, six, seven o'clock. Some of those may have embedded thunderstorms. Those are the thunderstorms we will watch for the strong gusty winds and the very slight tornado risk after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it pushes offshore, and the residual moisture will just be light rain. At that point, the severe threat is over. The severe threat is right along the initial start of that front. We dry out Saturday and Sunday. Our next storm system comes in Monday and Tuesday, more likely Tuesday than Monday for our region. Storm Prediction Center's sole job is to forecast where severe storms will develop over the next seven days. They normally do a forecast for days one through three. In this case, that would be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is extremely rare they do a forecast beyond day three. However, they have issued a forecast for severe storms Monday and Tuesday, specifically for our region on Tuesday. And when that happens five days out, you do need to take note. So, Right now, we'll be watching Tuesday extremely closely, especially considering that is the midterm elections uh, as people get on out to vote. So we'll be uh, keeping a very close eye on the potential for severe weather on Tuesday. And thanks, Zach. Don't forget now, Saturday night, roll your clocks back one hour. You gain an hour's sleep over the weekend. All right, there's something we want to talk about now. Since October 22nd, the famous Hamburger Joe's right there in Surfside has been raising money for... A Hurricane Florence victims. Owners Tony and Julie Cherney announced they are donating 100% of the profit from every hamburger at Joe's 
uh, had Hamburger Joe's. Now it's sold. They're donating it to the Samaritan's Purse and the Grand Strand Food Bank. And this will run to November 5th. So go down and get something. Get a hamburger this weekend because that's a good cause and they're doing it great down there. Tony, good job, buddy. All right, let's find out a little bit about tomorrow. Tomorrow's car show. It's heading right there. It's coming to the Carolina Ale House in Myrtle Beach. It's right there where Planet Hollywood used to be. Now, this is a new place for our car shows and it's free to everyone. All makes and model cars and trucks are invited to come out. We'll be handing out six trophies tomorrow. And the rock and roll starts at 11 and runs until 2. There'll be lots of giveaway and the public is invited to come out. Check that 57 Ford convertible. And the public is invited out to come out. My favorite, 55 Ford. Man, that's pretty. A lot of good cars. All right, let's find out a little bit about today. Today is Friday, November 2nd. And this is Name Your Car Day. So if I had to name my car, probably a 67 Ford Mustang. Yeah, that's what I'd go with. And it's also Deviled Egg Day. I love those two. Birthdays today, let's go with 1966. There's David Schwimmer. He's 52 years old. He played Ro uh, Ross on Friends. You remember that show. It's in reruns now. Also, he was on TV People vs. O.J. Simpson. Crime story. And he won Screen Actors Guild Award. All right, 1972, Samantha Womack, she's 46, a British soap opera star, Eastsiders, and uh, in the movie, game, uh, let's see, on King's The Secret Service. And before fame, she was a rough teenager. She drank and smoked. How about that? 1974, Nellie, very... Nelly, Nolly, whatever they call him, I'm sorry. 44 years old, the award-winning hip-hop singer. He sold over 8 million copies of his 2000 album, Country Grammar. Almost became a professional baseball player, but uh, he's making more money singing. Today in history, let's go to 1962. The film Elvis Presley film was Girls, 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 and it premiered. 2003, Sean Puff Daddy. Combs ran in New York City Marathon. He finished in four hours, 15 minutes, and he raised two million dollars for children. Good job. All right, know-it-all department. This is a coincidence. Listen to this one. A married couple was photographed at the same place at the same time in Disney World. 15 years before they met, they didn't even live in the same country when the picture was taken, and then their picture was taken at Disney, 15 years later together. Now that is a coincidence. That's it from the Know It All Department today where you learn something every day. Coming up, we've got a great show lined up, so hang on, we'll be right back. And welcome back, everybody. All right, we got a big event coming up. The North Myrtle Beach Humane Society is having a masquerade fur fall gala. Now, this event is uh, coming up, and uh, we're going to find out a little more about it. Sue's with us. Now, Sue, who do you have with you? This is Sheldon. Okay. And Sheldon's five years old. He's a uh, lab terrier mix. All right. Now, tell me, what's, what's this, uh, you know, this gala about? Well, it's our first annual masquerade fur ball gala. And um, it's going to be on Saturday, November 10th at the Surf Club in North Myrtle Beach from 6 to 10 p.m. And what we're doing this year is it's just, um, like I said, it's something new. The uh, attendees will wear their masks and dress up and we're going to have music and dancing. Uh, it'll start out with a really nice meal. We're going to have hors d'oeuvres and then a surf and turf and dessert. And the purpose of this is to what? For the animals 
to support to raise the animals. Money for to that. raise animals. Yep. Right. Y'all yeah. still have openings? You still have some uh, tickets for this? Yes, we have tickets. Um, we're selling tickets through Sunday. Uh, at the shelter, you can come into the shelter today or tomorrow. We're open from uh, 11 till 6 today and then 11 to 4 tomorrow. And you can purchase the, the tickets online too at so our website. That website right there and find out more information about yes. it, right? Yep. So you can buy those through Sunday night. We cut it off Sunday night so that we can give the count to the surf club. I mean, find out how many people you're going to have there. Yep, That's what exactly. you want to do. Exactly. Now, this is a big event. Y'all are hoping to raise. Do you have any idea of what you'd like to raise for this? Oh. Any figures? No, or? we haven't really thought about that. Since All it's we the can. first one, yes. Although we can, we're hoping that it's our largest fundraiser for the year. Well, it That's takes a lot of money for. to operate a shelter. Mm hmm. And yes, you have it a, does. You need a lot of things. What are some of the things you need right now? Well, money is. Yeah. Probably first and foremost. Right. Um, but also, like for the animals, we need food. We have a, um, a list on the website of things that we're always looking for. So, yeah. So it. people can go on there and find out what they need and drop it off at the shelter. Yes, definitely. That's, that's very good. All right, now if you want to go to this, uh, you got to go on the website, check it out, tell you all the information you want to know about it. And it's coming up November 10th. November 10th, Saturday, November 10th. At the Surf Club. At the Surf Club, yep. North Myrtle Beach. Yep. All right, so you did a good job. She all said right. this was her first time on TV. How'd she do? <laughs> you did good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back, everybody. All right, we got James with us now. The South Carolina Community Loan Fund, a nonprofit group, is going to meet next week in Columbia to highlight some static barriers we face to building strong, equitable communities. Now, I've got to find out more about this. I'm three to four hundred people attend that meeting. Now, James, what what is that all about? What does that mean? This meeting y'all are doing? So we're having the Investing in Community Summit. It's our first time doing it. It's going to be in Columbia, South Carolina, next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, November sixth, seventh, and eighth. 
At that meeting, we're bringing together folks, over 50 speakers um, across different sectors to help folks that have ideas for community development projects or small businesses across the state. All right, now, these people are coming from all over the state or from different states? Coming from all over the state of okay. South Carolina. We do have national speakers coming as well. Are you? Well, so who are some of the national speakers and they're going to be addressing Just, what? So we have Anton Gunn coming from Medical University of South Carolina. Uh, we'll be talking about building some healthier communities. Uh, we have Dimitri, Dimitri Duckett uh, coming as well and Mark Constantine. So all these people are going to be trying to build a stronger community is what they're working on. It's from every aspect, like from what to what to what. So from housing to healthy foods to small businesses to essential services and community. That's what we do every day when we meet with folks across the state, talk to them about their different ideas uh, that they have for making their communities better, and we provide the capital to help make those dreams come true. So when you get these ideas, you all all put it into operation and kind of move it forward. Yes, sir. That's, That's how you do it. To do. All right, now, how long has this been going on? Is this the first year for this or what? This is the first year for this summit, but the South Carolina Community Loan Fund's been in operation since 2003. Uh, we got our start in Charleston, and we now have offices in Columbia and Spartanburg as well. So, so out of those three offices, we served in. So this state. meeting in Columbia, can anyone attend this? Anyone can attend. Yeah. We still have tickets available. Uh, there's more information on our website. It, right there. There's a website there right is. there. Uh, SCCommunityLoanFund.org. And you can find out. How much are tickets? Uh, tickets range from $50 for a one-day pass to $150 for the entire conference. Three-day pass. And anybody can go. Anyone can right, go. Well, the I hope you all get everything and make it stronger. The whole community, we need it. Yes, sir. All right, James. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. We got more coming up. It's a Friday. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, the Myrtle Beach chapter of Penn State Alumni Association has partnered with the United States Marine Corps veterans to launch their annual Holiday Drive Toys for Tots. All right, we've got uh, Charlie and Tom with us. And Tom, you're going to start off talking about what's happening. Yes, uh, thank you for having us yeah. here, Cecil. We really appreciate it. We're starting our uh, annual Toys for Tots Drive. It started uh, last Saturday and will run through uh, November 24th. And uh, we uh, collect uh, toys at Millardo's restaurant down in Business 17, and uh, we uh, also that's our home for our Penn State football viewing all right. year long. Yep. So I know what you mean. So we're looking at. You know how many kids y'all are gonna be dealing with this year? Uh, it, it's not like that. We collect we, toys. Yep. Yeah. Charlie yep. explained. Yep. All right, Charlie, tell me. Yep. Well, we work with the uh, Marine Corps Reserve. We collect thousands of toys every right. year. Theirs is getting and, underway now, too, starting, too. Right. right. And we, uh, they, they launched last week as well. Right. And uh, every year we collect thousands of toys, and then uh, the toys go to the kids that are in need. Uh, we challenge everybody in the Big Ten, as well as the Citadel and Clemson <laughs> and South Carolina. This isn't just for Penn Staters. This is for everybody that wants to help these kids in need. All you need to do is bring unwrapped new toys down to Millardo's any day of the week. They're open seven days a week. There's a picture of yeah. us. Uh, we're there every Saturday watching football. But Tell them where Millardo's located. Well, Millardo's is in uh, Merle's Inlet, right on Business 17. 
That's where it is. And these guys, they have a lot of fun, but they collect a lot of toys. And, uh, you know, that's a big deal. I think they were telling me, I had him on the show the other day, 13,000 kids last right. year that they had to raise toys for. Right. So how did y'all do last year? I know y'all started. We, we, we did, did very well. Yeah. We also gave a $500 donation in cash. Right. Uh, which you just saw a yeah, check that presentation was a there. Presentation, yeah. uh, and uh, we also support other charities in the area as well with our work all year round. We do uh, Backpack Buddies, uh, we do uh, Terra great. Hall, which yeah, is great, a, two great charities, really. Uh, Terra are. Hall is a great one down yeah. in Georgetown. Jason's uh, House. Jason's House, yeah. which uh, brings uh, sick kids to the beach for a week. Right, all yeah. the Corvette guys go over and take them around. Exactly. Right. That right. is so neat. <laughs> yeah, and then we also have Fawn, which is the world's largest on campus. Event in the uh, in the world, it raises ten million dollars a year for pediatric cancer research. Wow! Right. Penn State alumni guys, Marlardos, get some toys, carry them by there. Appreciate you guys being with me. Thank you. Thank right. you. Go Appreciate Penn State. It. Yeah, yeah. Right here. we are. Beat All right. Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's a Friday, the weekend's here, and there's a lot of things happening next weekend that we want to tell you about. And uh, this one, which everybody loves. I'm not talking about just kids. Adults love it, too. It's the annual train show and sale. It's set for November 10th and 11th, and the event will be held at Inlet Square. Inlet Square Inlet Mall. Inlet Square Mall, right in Merle's Inlet, right? Merle's Inlet. All right, Bobby's with me now. Now, Bobby, this is a big deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we love it. I'm part of the Grand Strand Model Railroad Club, and as you mentioned, the show that we have. Um, we, uh, we have a bunch of vendors, about 40 vendors and about 130 tables. And um, we, ha we, ha we have about seven different uh, layouts display, the largest of which is 50 They'll be by 50. Operating. Operating, They'll be operating, absolutely. Um, the, the admission is $5 for adults. Children 12 and under come free with a paying adult. Um, uh, the, the hours, Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday 10 to 4 in the old J.C. Penney store in the Inlet Square Mall. Y'all fill that place up. You got a lot of room to set up all these. Now, look at all yeah. these displays. This is so neat when you can walk in and see mm -hmm. these trains running. Yeah. We have, um, we're open every, the, the club itself is open just right beside the Bass Pro Shop in the, um, the Myrtle Beach Mall. Right. And, um, 
and uh, we're open Mondays and Wednesday afternoons and Saturday 10 to 5. So and you that's go every, by there. every week. You yeah, there too. if you can't make the show, you come by there. We'd love to see you. We're free. And um, the, the kids love it. We have a table for the kids, and the kids love to push buttons and watch they the play, trains. They can run some trains. Exactly. That is so cool. Exactly. Now, this big event, I mean, this is a good time if people are collectors. You're going to have all these vendors there, and you've been looking for a train, say, for a mm -hmm. long time. You may find it there, right? Yeah. There's all different kinds of, there's modern equipment, there's old Lionel that you were just talking to me about. Yeah. There's HO scale, with the most popular scale. Yeah, now fact, this, a, all right, now what is this right here? This is what, HO? This is the HO scale. It's okay. a little little hopper car, train car that I made. I like to scratch build these guys. This is made entirely uh, out of cardstock and basswood. You made wood. this? I made it from scratch. Oh, well, that's pretty good. So in fact, the, the paint in here, uh -huh. just wet, I painted it this morning. And uh, <laughs> there's a little button on the bottom with the little light, so you, this yeah. car, Yep, can be run, run on the can go on the end of the end of the yeah, train there with that red blinking. light there, and got a little um, light blinking. That's my my part of the hobby. So that's we, pretty good. So you yeah. like to build things? Yeah, I love to build things. That's and, cool. Now, how long did it take you to make something like that? That is so cool. Um, I built uh, over about a period of a month. I built thirty six of those cars. Really? So maybe a car a day on a on a good day yeah. if I'm booking it. So all right now, do these cars? Do you sell these cars at uh, the, at the? Uh, I meeting? sell um more on the individual basis. Yeah. I'm not yet in in production, so to speak, right. but uh. I, I sell to people who are interested, and uh, I like to build things that you can't buy on the market that are right. that are unique That's and cool. but are prototypical. Well, so. I had a Lionel set when I was uh, probably about 65 years, <laughs> 60 years ago, yeah. and it was one of those little just go round and round. But then when yeah. I looked it up after I gave it to somebody, I looked up how much it was worth, and uh, I wish I hadn't given it away. I mean, <laughs> train, they're, they're ex I mean, they really they can be expensive and hold their yeah. value. They yeah, they can they can hold their value. Some can, some some are yeah. And then the latest ones are expensive, but at the show we'll find the, the latest and greatest, the, the latest ones and also the, 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 the older less expensive, ones. Yeah. the older ones, yeah. the ones if you want to go. And if you have a problem with a train set of yourself, uh, you have a Somebody issue, can help you with it. Someone can help you, yeah. Come by yeah. the club and uh, come by the show. Yeah. How, many, how, many trains, how many trains do you have? Um, Real quick. I have like uh, probably 11, 12. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Thanks a lot, Thank buddy. Thank you, Cecil. 10th and 11th, Merle Zinlet. Check it out. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to Carolina Company Live. We've got a great weekend planned, uh, planned. Don't forget now, the Big Car Show is free to everybody, the public, and to everybody that has cars at the Carolina Ale House right down in Myrtle Beach. That was where the old planted Hollywood used to be. All right, we've had a great time today. Amanda will be back from her honeymoon and back on the air with me on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.